shut up. Knock it off. Get away from me. You don't think Israel should accept a peace proposal? You want this genocide to continue? You want the killing of my people, my oh, Palestinian people? Shut to up! Peace? Knock it off! You are disgusting, racist. How shameful of you that you even work in this administration and you put your hands on a person. Shame on you. Shame on you. You are the violent one. Not the people that are protesting peacefully. You are the violent one. So we are in Congress just like we are every day. And today we've been asking the members of Congress what do they think about Israel not signing the peace agreement that Hamas just signed. And we were in the halls, and there was this congressman, what's his name? Ezel. He's from Mississippi, and I know he's a former police officer. And can you say, Summer, what happened? He turned around, told me to shut my mouth, and then took his hand and slapped my hand and knocked my phone to the ground. So, have you filed a complaint? I did file a complaint um, with Capitol Police, which they called um, in some criminal investigators to take my statement. And see what happens next. It's like we, we're trying to fight one battle uh, of, you know, stop arming Israel to kill these Palestinians over there, and, and then we have to fight another battle for people like Congressman Ezel to suppress us from speaking the truth, and they don't want to hear our voices, so they choose violence, in, and they tell us as Palestinians or pro-Palestinians to that we are violent people when we're not, and he is the violent one. Obviously, so let's keep pursuing your complaint against him and pursuing our efforts to stop these racist, inhumane people from sending our tax dollars to support Israel.